Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have NECA's Friday the 13th from the 2009 film Ultimate Jason. And I'm really stoked to have this figure. It was one that I saw, I didn't have the funds for, but surprisingly on my birthday, a good friend of mine, Ryan Thomas, ended up snagging this and giving it to me. And I was just like, I wasn't expecting it because for my birthday, I don't really expect anybody to get me anything. So it was a nice surprise. So here it is in the flesh or plastic whatever you want to call it it looks awesome i love the box i love how the, the, just this alone is is a beautiful image and on camera it actually looks like you can almost you know that it's a mask that you can almost take out but uh we get this type of packaging we got jason on front which or on the top which you can't really see because of focus there we go and uh got him on the side got him in this side and then we do get some uh product shots on the back which NECA is known for and I love it I love the fact that they actually do this with their figures we get actual product shots sorry it's so glossy that it's like reflecting everything but I love the fact that we actually get to see the figure posed up doesn't come with that you had to buy a different Jason to get that fire awesome face just overall a really good picture and then we get some read up right there very little read up and then just like all other NECA figures, let's get it to focus before I just slap it open. Velcro image of Jason right there looking just vicious. And then you get to see your figure all in package and everything he comes with. And I love this about NECA because you actually can see it. Make sure QC is top notch. So here we are with this figure. Let's let's revive Jason out of his grave. Mr. Voorhees, Jason, out of the box, just, it's a nice figure. I just, I, you know, I had him in my hand for a little bit, and he just feels like a nice, solid figure, and I, I really, really like him. I haven't even gotten to the full articulation and posing and all that stuff yet, but I like him a lot. So, I mean, NECA, I mean, whatever you guys are doing, you, you guys keep evolving, and you're evolving in the right direction. And I doubt anybody from NECA is watching this, but I just want to give you guys some kudos because your evolution of your figures to where they are now is amazing. And I can only imagine how they're going to keep going in the future. Just keep it up. They're awesome, you know. And uh, so he comes with a buttload of accessories. If you guys are familiar with NECA figures, especially the Ultimate versions, you get tons of accessories. So one of the accessories that you get is a alternate gripping hand for his right hand. Sure, I would have liked a open, you know, hand like he has equipped for the right hand and maybe a gripping hand for the left but hey can't be 100 percent perfect but i love the hand the sculpt is very nice and they added this nice little wash to it reminds me of the mezco popeye what they did around his fingers and all that stuff so if you guys aren't familiar with that mezco popeye definitely check out my review uh it's, it's definitely a couple months back but check it out uh but i love this dirtying of the hands because i mean you're killing people you're out in the woods and the you know dealing with dirt and everything like you're not going to be clean and i love this gripping hand and uh you guys probably like, man you're, you're really digging that hand it's the little details of just a little bit of a wash how i can bring out the sculpture that the artist sculpted is just phenomenal now weaponry <laughs> I put these bad boys, I'm, I'm going to go into my least favorite, all the way to my favorite that he came with, this thing. When I saw it in a in the box, I was like, is this is this a thing that you use to open up like the hood of your car? Like this is just ripped out, you know, from the inside of an old car? Like it was crazy. But then I realized it looks like a pick and I'm like, oh, it's one of those mountain climbing picks. Very different. I mean, I guess he's out in the wild in a camp and stuff. They might have this stuff around. Just a, you know, I, I don't know how many people out there know what this thing is, you know, just from glance. So if you guys know it, you're definitely a step ahead of me. But I, when I saw it, I had to do a double take because it just really, I was like, what the heck is it? So you get a mountain climbing pickaxe. You get the classic, very thin <laughs> Very brittle, I'm sure. Uh, fireplace poker. So this thing, you know, at glance, I was like, oh, the end. It could be a harpoon, but then no. It's it's literally a fireplace poker. And it's sculpted nice. Really nice. 
And then we also have this axe. And the reason it's not uh, higher up on my list of weaponry, I mean, it looks really good. I ain't gonna lie, it's a solid, you know, feeling weapon. It's hard plastic. It's painted and sculpted very nicely. It just, to me, if we're, if we're gonna go back and look at Jason in the background, I feel, I don't know, that just seems small. Which it probably isn't because, you know, NECA's on point with scale. Maybe I'm just not familiar with my uh, axes. Maybe is this, is this a throwing axe? Is this a wood cutting axe? I don't know. Comment down below if you know what type of axe this is supposed to represent. But it's cool. We do get a, you know, we get an axe with it. So, focus. There we go. So, cool. We got an axe. Then we get into my top two. So, of course, you know, I'm going to be a huge fan of a screwdriver i just feel like if you're getting uh, i don't know what type of end that is it looks like uh definitely not a flat head it could be phillips but it could be one of those specialty screwdrivers but i love this because it's so awesome it's painted well and just getting stabbed to death with a screwdriver is just crazy that's like straight up like serial killer slasher film 101 to me like butcher knife screwdriver you know all that like machete it's uh it's awesome this thing is and it has a little wash on it itself so you get that nice little gritty dirty look so i love it screwdriver number two on his weapon accessory list and then his number one you guys know it you should have probably called it his machete i love the fact that Jason's primary weapon is a machete. I mean, he uses like everything, but I love how it just his signature weapon is the machete. It's it's actually a really nice weapon if you think about it. I mean, zombie apocalypse, you know, if it's a real machete, this thing is like a must have for survival. But I love it. Wish it was a little bit more grittier, maybe had some a little bit of blood on it or something just to show the wear or use but I do like how it has the sculpted handle and it's wrapped with like a dirty leather so really really digging that and then last but not least so that was all his weapons he does come with the alternate head and is that classic bag head Jason look at that eye just staring and it's open and creepy like that eye in there has so much character and it's just an eye just the way it's designed and sculpted it's crazy and I love how this wrapped up head looks. So now we can dive into Jason. I do apologize if you hear like a lawnmower in the background. I got neighbors that are cutting their grass right now as I'm doing a review. Wanted to yell out the window at him and be like, what are you doing? But uh, this figure is phenomenal. The mask is that nice dirtied up looks like it's been floating in water type of mask it just has that dingy like moldy look to it and i like it um his whole duster thing that he has going on has a nice like dirty wash so you can actually see that on there so it's not it's not something i added his undershirt is filthy dude is ripped again the duster has a lot of sculpted detail so i don't understand when we're looking at this figure like you got this whole outer area has like this dirty orangish brown wash over it but his arms don't really have it up here they have it a little bit down by the sleeve and then when you get on the back like this area right here doesn't have any but then down here it does so i, I wish we'd have a little bit more consistency with a little bit of a wash um because it's just like all right you got a little bit here but again it's just like i want consistency unless he cleans this off because it is a separate piece i mean he might take it off and wash it and just leave the front parts dirty i'm not i'm not too sure <laughs> it's uh but it's good it, i mean it looks good um his hand he's got the grip in hand there and then we got his you know open palm like i'm gonna grab your face or grab you type hand looks great uh everything's painted very nicely on it the zipper Painted all the way down. 
he has his little like boy scout PUBG type type of like pouch going on right there i guess it can hold some stuff actually does it actually hold stuff though yeah it has spots so you can probably put some the tools and stuff in there that's cool um pants are torn up again just a, a really nice the tension to detail on these are phenomenal and then we get down to his really really clean and shiny boots like they're sculpted and they're painted very nicely but i mean those are super clean like this dude's filthy but he's got some brand new boots and they got the treading on the bottom and everything but that throws me off because you got like dirtiness and torn up pants but you got super clean boots that is crazy so you know when you come when it comes to jason you, you got to take his mask off everybody wants to know what's under that mask and with this guy the mask just slides off you got the strap and everything looks good but this face this face is gnarly it's got that creamy milky eye it's got some cleft palate issues but the sculpt is great. And I know the original one that they released, like this hair was attached to the mask, which looked weird. And it was a darker brown. Um, this doesn't look bad, but I wish it blended in. Um, I guess it's that way to hold up the actual mask. But uh, that, that part, they look like plugs. It's, it's weird. Like you can see how they're trying to get it to flow from the sculpt into these separate pieces. And it looks wonky. But when the mask is on, you know, you really can't tell because it's where the mask is. And then it looks really nice. So if you're going to display him without his mask, just make sure he's facing forward um, as much as you can because you don't want to have his plug showing. Uh, Articulation-wise, um, it's the same articulation you would get out of a NECA figure. So he can look up that far. He can look down that far. Um, full 360. Arm can actually go up quite a bit and then he has the swivel at the elbow and has a lot of really good motion and it rotates so right out of the box i just want to let you guys know the joints on this guy are perfect nothing is overstuck nothing felt like it was going to break this formula for this figure for joints they nailed it like this guy has perfect joints um, I don't know if he has any ab crunch. He does have the waist swivel right here. It's probably a ball joint, so you can probably get some motion. I can't really tell. There's definitely, can't, I don't think there's any ab crunch. I think it's all right here. His legs are on little like ratchets. So when you do the splits, they go click, click, click. And he can do the Van Dam. So we got a super agile like flexible jason and then he can do a spartan kick knee bend it does pivot at the knee and then he has boot movements nothing too crazy a little bit of pivot and bend but nothing to write home about it's probably the least moving part on him uh, for articulation that's supposed to be articulated this guy poses like a champ I say have him holding that axe, which looks really good in that alternate hand. It holds it nice and snug, nothing loose. He's just reaching out for you. I mean, you can have him pose like this. Nobody even really know is Jason. He just looks like some crazy guy from, you know, the Hills Have Eyes or something like that. But, I mean, this guy is propped up. I'm going to bring it back a little bit so you can really see. So, I have him propped up on his toe, and this one's whole full flat. Awesome. Nothing is feeling out of whack with the balance like it's it's just like natural and it looks awesome this figure is disgustingly awesome and i'm getting like I, I don't know as i'm posing it for this review i'm just getting goosebumps and it's like very very rare do i get little goosebumps when i'm trying to like review figures and stuff because this is like a very very nice figure it's awesome so you can get them all posed up ready to stab somebody in the throat with that screwdriver Still posed up in pretty much the same pose because, I mean, it's it's Jason. I mean, what are you going to have him posed up? He's a big, lanky, beefy guy. Just ready to slaughter people with brute strength. Looks very, very wicked. 
I was totally wrong about the little PUBG tool belt thing on his leg. I'm sure you could probably fit the, you know, miscellaneous fire poker and stuff like that in there. I probably wouldn't because they, they are thinner and they might break, but it's meant for the machete. It is straight up a sheath for the machete. I didn't even think of it as that when I was looking at it, but it is. And he can utilize it like a champ. I mean, I have him drawing his uh, machete from the sheath, and it looks awesome. So you can just have him pose like this, ready to slaughter an irresponsible camp counselor, you know, that's, you know, doing all the sexes and smokeses and drinkses and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, like, this is awesome the posability out of this guy is actually you know mind-blowing with like what i'm able to do with the figure with jason i mean you could really get him into the jason poses that you would want and what you would probably see in a lot of the films and then we got his iconic machete in the air pose ready to hack down a camp counselor and this this pose is just awesome i mean you could really pose this figure however you want because it's your figure but he poses so well, and I, I mean, if you're a fan of the 2009 film or you're a fan of Jason, it's a must-have. So, I mean, I'm definitely geeked out, and I'm happy to have this figure. So, thank you again, Ryan, so much. You can even pose him in his iconic machete in the air pose. This figure's great. I mean, throughout the review, you just hear me geeking out about it. I am a Jason fan, and I didn't mind the 2009 film. So, if you're a Jason, Friday the 13th fan... Uh, didn't mind the 2009 film or you like the 2009 film this is definitely a jason you got to have part of your collection it's sculpted very well and this ultimate version is definitely ultimate so that sums up my unboxing and review of NECA's friday the 13th from the 2009 film ultimate jason if you guys like what you saw hit that thumbs up if you're new to my channel just hit that subscribe button and if you guys want to get alerts when i post up a new video hit that bell notification as well it'll help me out a lot let me know that you guys are actually seeing my content and i want you guys to check out toy code toys and collectibles websites down below so you can get some cool stuff and there's a promo code down below to get free shipping to your doorstep so who's going to complain about getting collectibles delivered to your doorstep for free I mean, it's, it's awesome. And you got the two Facebook groups. You got the community. You can interact with your fellow nerd, collector, talk figures, trade figures, you know, ask questions. If you're new to collecting, I mean, don't hesitate. Just jump in and have a conversation. We're, we're cool about it. And then you also have the pre-order group, which keeps you in the know with what's coming out and allows you to basically get some amazing pre-order prices because, again, Andrew does a really good job with pre-order pricing it's awesome and it gets delivered to your doorstep and when you go hunting i want you to have the best luck hunting keep on collecting and have a beautiful day